Hey guys, welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to install and build OpenCV with GPU. So in this video here, we're going to go over the ins installation process and how we can actually like build OpenCV with GPU support. Here, I'm going to show you like that we're actually able to use OpenCV with GPU uh, in C++ and Visual Studio Code in this video here. I'm going to create other videos where I'm going to show you how we can set up in both Python and also some other different kind of IDEs like uh, Visual studio here and how we can use OpenCV with GPU in that way. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server, I'll link to it down in the description here and you can come join us, chat, uh, chat with us about computer vision, deep learning, artificial intelligence and so on. You can now also become a member of the channel here if you want to support the channel more than you're currently doing by just watching here with a small monthly fee and everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So first of all here, let's go over some of the steps here that we're going to cover in this here as well and i'm going to have the time steps on, under the video here so you, like you can just skip through them if you have already have a cmake installed or like cuda and something like that but first of all here we need to install omcv the source files from omcv so we'll go into the github uh, omcv repository and we'll download the source files and then we also need the omcv contrib um, directory as well so we're going to use that to actually like be able to build omcv with gpu support in cmake then we're going to install Visual Studio here um, from like from scratch here, where we need to specify that we want to to install it with the C++ development tool because we're going to use that to actually like be able to build the OpenCV source files with GPU support. Then we're going to install CUDA and CUDDNN from N NVIDIA's website, so we can actually like use the, the, the NVIDIA CUDA uh, drivers to actually like be able to use OpenCV with our GPU uh, from NVIDIA. Then we're going to install CMakes, which, which is what we're going to use to actually like be able to build OMSV from the source files and together with the GPU support. We can specify some different kind of things, like for example, like we can use a fast math and, and all the different kind of stuff like that, or if you want to build it into release mode, debug mode, and so on. Then we're going to configure OpenCV with GPU and CMake. We're going to build the source files with CMake, as I just mentioned. And then at the end, we're going to set it up and test OpenCV with GPU support uh, in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to show you first of all how we can uh, build build uh, the source files from OpenCV with CMake, so we have GPU support. And then I'm going to show you how we can set them set it up in Visual Studio Code and use OpenCV with a GPU. So first of all, here we will jump into the first installation page, which is where we're going to uh, to like, like download the OpenCV source files from. So we just go into the GitHub uh, repository here for OpenCV. I'll link to everything down in the description, so make sure to check those links out, and you can just click on them and go to each of the individual installation pages, and then just install all the things here that I'm going to go through with you now. So first of all here, we're going to install the source files from OpenCV. So we can see here that we have all the different kind of source files here uh, that we need. So we can go up here in the masters here and choose like a, a branch that we want. So in this case here, we can just go into the tags here for OpenCV. And then we can choose the version of the OpenCV where that we want to actually like be able to build from source files with GPU support. And this video here, I'm just going to take the newest one, which is 4.52. So I'm just going to choose this one here and we will now go into this branch here with this nearest version here of OpenCV. Again, then we can go over here to the right and just click uh, th th this download zip file here where we're actually like going to download a zip file uh, to our computer here. The other thing we need to uh, download here from, from OpenCV's uh, repository here in GitHub, we also need this contrib uh, OpenCV um, OpenCV files here where we're we actually like going to use this module here because inside of these mod this module over here we have some different kind of like setup for CUDA uh, with OpenCV. We need this we need to download this OpenCV underscore contrib here to actually like be able to use uh, CUDA here with OpenCV. So I'm just going back here into OpenCV um, OpenCV here again and then we're just going to master here into tags and then we just choose the same version as we did with OpenCV. So I'm just going to uh, have this uh, 4.52 and then I'm going over here downloading a zip file here again. So now we actually like have all the source files from OpenCV and also the source file from OpenCV Contrib that we're going to use to actually like be able to, to set uh, or like build OpenCV with GPU support. So now I have them down here, I can show them in my folder. And, and we can see here that we're not just downloading here and they're both zipped. So we're just going to extract all the files here uh, in the download directory. So now both the folders here have been extracted here and we can just then go in uh, and create a new directory where we actually like want to build the source files from OpenCV here. So I'm just going to open up a new tab here in the file explorer and then I'm going into my uh, user directory. So I'm just going to user uh, and my directory here and then we're going to create a new folder here where we want to build the actual files. So I'm just going to call this OMSV tutorial. So this is the directory 
directory where we're going to install and build OpenCV files with GPU support uh, later on with uh, CMake. So I'm going to drag these files in here that we just extracted in the downloads directory. So I have this OpenCV here and then the version. I'm just going to drag them over. So we have this one here. And then we also need um, the OpenCV contrib um, folder here as well. So I'm just going in here and then I'm going to just drag it over here to the right. So I'm just going to take this one in here. Now we both have OpenCV contrib here and OpenCV here. And then we actually like need here before we're going to install the other things. We also need to, to create a folder here for build files. So this is the this is the uh, this is the folder here where we're actually like going to have our build files after we've actually like built OpenCV with GPU support from scratch. So now that we have OpenCV source file downloaded, we need to install Visual Studio here as well. So I'm just going into this site here, and again, I'll link to all of the different kind of links here for the installation pages uh, down in the description. So just go down there and click on. The so we're going to download the community version here, which is just a free download of Visual Studio 2019 here. So I'm just going to hit the, uh, the download button here and it will start the download process here on my computer. We can go down here to the file and to like execute the installer here. Um, and then we need to say yes. And we hit, then it, this installer here comes up and we're just going through the process here, click next and next until we get this C++ developer uh, environment that we need to download as well. Now we can see we get this uh, development tool up here or like different kind of like workloads that we want to install when we're actually like downloading a Visual Studio. So we need to go down here and specify that we need to, that we want to install this desktop development here for C++ because we're going to use this here uh, with CMake down here to actually like be able to build the source files from OpenCV GPU support. So I'm just going to check this out, check this off here. So we're actually like going to install this here as well. And we can see that the total space required here is, is, is pretty much like seven and a half gigabyte. And when we have chosen this desktop development with C++ here, we can go down here and just install Visual Studio Community 2019 here. And then we don't need to do anything more here in Visual Studio Code, but we're going to use this to actually like be able to build the files uh, with CMake. So when we're building the files here from, from scratch with OpenCV and GPU support, we can both use it for C++ and also for Python. But if we want to use Python, we also need to specify uh, the interpreter that we want to use and the, some of the library files from Python as well. We can use like a basic uh, Python installation on your own computer, or we can use like uh, Anaconda to actually like be able to run OpenCV with GPU support in Python as well. So I'm going to create another video into more depth and how we can set up uh, OpenCV with GPU support in Python. So make sure to, to, to subscribe to the channel here and also hit the bell notification if you want to know like when I upload the video about how we can use OpenCV with GPU support in Python, because in this video here, we're mainly going to focus on how we can use C++ and how we can set it up in Visual Studio Code. So the next thing we're going to download here is CMake, uh, which we're actually going to use to build our source files from OpenCV. So we're just going to download the latest releases here, and then we just take the la latest one. So in this case here, we're going to release uh, 3.20.2, and then we're just going down here and choosing the Windows X64 installer, and we're taking this MSI here which is just like an executable that will download CMake here on your computer. So just hit the tab here and then you go into the installation process and just hit next 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 until it is installed on your computer. I have already installed it here on my computer so I can really show you the steps here. So the last thing that we're going to download here is from NVIDIA so we're both going to download CUDA and we're going to use uh, CUDNN. So first of all download CUDA we just go in here and in this in this video here I'm going to use version 11.3 of CUDA. So we just go down here and take this window here, x86 x uh, here, 64, and then we just choose the version here of our Windows operating system. So in this example here, I'm on 10, so I have Windows 10. And then we just need to specify the installer type here, and it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to choose the local one here, so we get an executable file, and it will install um, CUDA here locally on our computer. So we just hit this one here, and then we can just go down here for installer and click download here at this button and we just hit next 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 in the installation process and it will install CUDA here on your computer. So the last thing that we're going to download here is CUDNN. So CUDNN is, is like a GPU accelerated library of primitive for deep neural networks. So we're going to use this later on to actually like be able to use uh, the GPU with OpenCV to actually like be able to run the DNN modules and do uh, deep learning neural networks inference and stuff like that. But to, able to, to be able to download this library here or program, we need to first of all log into NVIDIA's developer website here. So we can just create a, an account like or a profile uh, for free and you can just take the shorts away and then you can go in here, we get the download links for QDNN and then we need to set it up later on to actually like have a program and then CMake will take, take care of everything else after that. So we go down 
and download QDNN here, version 8.2. So this is the one that I'm going to use because we can see that this version here is for CUDA 11.x. And in this example here, I'm on, on CUDA 11.3. So I'm just going to choose this one here. We hit download and then we just go down here and, and specify the operating system that we're on. So in this example here, we're on, on the library for Windows X86 here in this example here. So I've just hit this button here and it will download QDNN library here for Windows. And it will just download this zip file here that we need to unzip. And then we're going into the installation process after that. So when we have installed CUDA on our, on our computer and we have downloaded this uh, QDNN uh, library here as well, then and we have extracted it, then we can actually like just go in and follow this guy here uh, from the NVIDIA documentation here. I'll just link to it down in the description here and you can go over the steps here one by one. So it's really intuitive. It's a really good guide here. You just need to go into the different kind of path for CUDA and also the QDNN. And then you need to copy some files uh, back and forth between like uh, the CUDA and also uh, the CUDA GPU uh, computing toolkit over here to the right. And then when, we had, when you have done that, you can go in and uh, edit some of the environment variables that we need to set up. And when we have done that, we have actually like installed an independent program for uh, QDNN. And we can then use that later on in CMake to install and build the source files from OpenCV. So we are now opened up CMake UI here where we're going to actually like build the OpenCV source files. So first of all here we need to specify where the source files is. So we're just going to browse the source files here. We go into our directory where we downloaded and extracted the OpenCV source files. So in this example here I created this folder here called OpenCV tutorial. I'll go into this one here and just choose where I have, in, where I have downloaded the OpenCV source files. So I'm just going to select, select this folder here and then we also need to browse or like specify where we want to have to actually like store the, the binaries that were built from the source files of OpenCV. So I'm just going to browse the, 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 the explorer here again and then we need to specify this build folder here which is just empty right now. So I'm just going to delete what is already inside this folder here now. So we just need to specify this build folder where all the binaries are going to be built from OpenCV here. So we're going to select this folder here and hit configuration bottom down here. Then we need to specify the, uh, the visual studio that we just downloaded at the, at the, at like the start of the video. Then we also need to specify the architecture of our computer here. In this example here, I'm going to use x64 uh, because this is what I'm, I'm at right now. And you are probably at well, if you're using windows and then we just hit finish here and it will just configure this uh, offset up here. So when the configuration is done, we can see that we get these different kind of like options or like configurations that we can do up here uh, above where we've actually like uh, configured this setup here or like the configuration of uh, building the source files here from OMZV. So we can see that we get some configuration done here. And if you want to use Python as well, then we can go up here and see that right now we actually like build the source files here for Python as well. So we're both going to be able to use it for Python. And, and C++. I'm going to create another video where I'm going more in depth how we can use it in, in Python as well. But we can see here that it will both build it for Python and OpenCV, uh, like C++ here as well. And I'm just going to use like a base installation of Python, which is 3.8.10. So it will build it for Python as well. If it is not building for Python, we can see up here at the top that the, the OpenCV modules here that are unavailable. If we have both Java, Java and Python 2, it will also specify Python 3 here if it's not uh, if it's not possible to build on your computer. And if that's the case, you need to upgrade uh, NumPy to actually like be able to build the source files for Python as well. But I'm going to create, as I already said, another video where I'm going more into details with, uh, with this setup process here. So first of all here, we need to do some different kind of configurations here before we can actually like generate the binaries that we're going to, to build later on. So here we're going to search for a different kind of things. So if we want to download per Python, we just go up here to Python. We need to specify the different kind of like include directories, executables and stuff like that, where we have our Python executable file uh, and so on. But again, I'm going over that in another video. So we need to specify the width CUDA here. So we're going to width here and then we actually just need to go down here to width. And then we have this underscore CUDA. So we need to have this value here checked out. So we're actually like using CUDA when we're building our OpenCV source files. Then we also need here the OpenCV underscore um, underscore DNN. So we just go down here and we need to specify that we want to use OpenCV DNN CUDA. And we just uh, build the build file here. We also need to make sure that this uh, mark here is checked out. So we actually like building OpenCV with the DNN module here as well. So when we have done that, we actually like have everything set up here for CUDA. And we can also specify that we want to use fast math for our OpenCV um, uh, library here as well. So we're just going to check this value here off as well. And then we need to create the world files that we're going to use for actually like be able to uh, load them in into 
into for example visual studio where we're going to set them up uh, later on in another video so we're going to have this build underscore open tv underscore world and we're going to configure this here as well when we're going to build our our source files here with open tv then we need to go into the extras here we need to specify where are the module here is in our open tv control path so we just go over here to the values and then we need to specify in this ohms v underscore contrib then we need to to point to this uh to this module here where we have all the different kind of like cuda algorithm arrhythmics cuda fillers and stuff like that so we're just going to point to this modules uh, live here in this uh, ohms v underscore extra underscore modules path so when we have done this here we actually like have everything set up for now and we can just hit this configure configure button here again so now the configuration is done here once again and we only need to specify uh, couple more steps here before we can actually like generate our binaries so if we go up here again we need to specify that we want to actually like use a uh, fast math now so we're going to just going to have this fast underscore math and we go down here to cuda and we want to specify this cuda underscore fast math so we're actually like, using cuda to be able to do these operations uh, way faster when we're specifying this value here other thing here that we're going to specify is the arc uh, bin so we need to specify the version here of our dpu that we're currently running on and i'll link to this website here as well which is just a wikipedia website for cuda so in this example here i'm running on 6.1 here so we need to specify that in the arc bin uh, directory so because i'm using a dtx uh, 1060 dpu here in the computer but if you're using some other diff different kind of things like 2008 2000 and uh, 2070 for example you need to specify this uh, 7.5 here instead of uh, is the instead of 6.1 which i'm going to do in this example here so if we go down here we just need to delete all these things here and set except the version that we are running on now so now we have 6.1 here which is the version that i'm running on and then we need to go into here and to the configuration and we need to specify that we only want to have it in release mode so we're just going to uh, to, to to delete this debug mode here so now we have everything configured here and we can just hit configure one more time or we're going to generate uh, the binaries here in CMake. So the last configuration is now done here and we get actually like a short summary over here, the different kind of things. So if we just scroll up a bit here, we can see some different kind of information here with the configuration for OMCV and then the version. We get some uh, information about the CMake version here as well and some other different kind of stuff here, which is just not really uh, relevant. We can see like the version using CUDA we have version 11.3 and CUDA DNN uh, version that we're using is 8.2 so these are act like the versions that we have downloaded so this is all good and we're using Python here as well and we see that that the installation is done to this users underscore and then my directory obviously tutorial build and then into this installation path here that we're going to specify when we're actually like going to generate uh, the build the binaries here and actually like building it and installing OMSV here from the source files so now we have configured and all the configurations here is done we can just hit this generate button here and it will now generate all the different kind of files that we're going to use so now when the kind of configuration and the generation here is done and we have actually like built all the files to to our uh, to our build directory we need to open up a, a command prompt here so i'm just going to go into open up command prompt here. Then we have this here and we can just specify where we actually like want to build and install OpenCV from scratch. So first of all here we're going to use CMake to actually like be able to build uh, these things here. So we have CMake uh, uh, build here and then we need to specify where we actually like have this build directory here in our path. So I'm just going to type this out here so I have it in my C directory and then we're inside uh, the users. So users here and then inside of my directory and then inside the, the folder that we created. So it will be OMCV tutorial. And then we also need to specify the build directory. So where we actually like just have generated all the build files that we're going to build and install now with this command here, with CMake here in our, in our command prompt. And then we're going to specify the target here as well that we're going to use. So the target that we're going to use is installed. So we're going to install these binaries or like these from these build files here. We're going to actually install the binaries. And then we have done that. We also need to specify the config, which is release mode. So we also have to specify the config. I'm just going to do this here. And I'm going to drop this uh, th this command here down in the description as well. So you can just go down to the description, copy paste the command, and then just pr uh, put it into the terminal here. Copy paste it into the terminal here. Just run the command, and it will install everything for you. 
So we need to specify the config here as well. And we're running the config here in release mode. So when we run this command here in the command prompt here, we're actually, like, we actually like, uh, installing and building OpenCV from scratch here. So we can see that we get all of these different kind of things here. It will take up to like one to two hours to actually like, be able to run all of these things here through. And we can see that we get a lot of different kind of like warnings here like errors but it doesn't really matter you'll get a lot of them though throughout this whole installation here but it doesn't really matter it will install them uh, fine here in this directory that we specified so we just need to let this here go for like one or two hours until it's done so when that process is done we actually like have everything built uh, from this opens source files with gpu support so now we can just go into visual studio code here and i'm going to show you how we can set it up here in visual studio code and then run a short example on and we will get out some information about the gpu that we're currently running on right now so i'll just go up to the files here and we're going to create a new folder here so we're just going to have this folder here we're just going to create a new folder here in this directory so i'm just going to call it uh, uh open cv gpu test youtube so i'm just going to create this folder here we will select the folder open it up so when we're in here, we just open up the command palette here and we use the CMake configuration. So we just type in CMake here and then we hit this config configure here. We need to select the tools here or like the architect that we're on. So currently we are running on this architecture here. So I just choose this here in release mode. So now we're actually like going to create this CMake list file here. We need to specify the name for the new project here that we are, that we are opening up. So I'm just going to have OpenCV here, DPU, and, and, and then we have this test here. And then we are running YouTube here. So this is the name of our file. And we're going to create an executable in this example here for this project. So we get up some lines of code here. We have now actually like configured our CMake here. So I'm just going to grab in and copy paste the, 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 this, this setup for the CMake list for OpenCV here from my GitHub because we already went over how to set this up here in another video. So you can go check that out if you want to go more in details what these lines here does. So we're just going to find the package here, OpenCV required. We're going to include the directories here from OpenCV underscore include tiers. And we're just going to add the executable here, which is the main uh, just C++ here. So here we need to specify the project name here. So we have another project name here, which is OpenCV. OpenCV DPU test YouTube. So this is the project name here that we need to specify. And I'm just going to copy paste this here uh, down to the other ones here as well. Oh, that was not the right one. Yes, it was. And here, OpenCV test. So now we have actually like set everything up. We need to have these target link libraries here as well. So we're going to, to actually like specify where our link libraries are for OpenCV, which is in this OpenCV underscore lips here so we can now see down here that we have actually like set up this uh, cmake list file here it does everything for us configuration is done generation is done and the field files has been written to this directory down here in our project folder here so now we have actually linked and included our directories from opencv in uh, in visual studio code and now we can just go in and use opencv with gpu support because that is what we have built with the files that we just that we're linking to in this specific cmake file here so now if we go into the main program here, we just have like this short sample code here that I'm just going to copy paste as well. And everything will be in my uh, in my GitHub on the description. So I'll just copy paste this in here. We're including the iOS stream library here for uh, for C++. We also have from OpenCV here, we're going to include DNN and uh, the, the default one here for OpenCV. Then at the end here, we can actually like include OpenCV2 core and then CUDA. So we're like using the TPU support for OpenCV in this, uh, uh, in this include library here. So down, then we can go down here. We're just using the namespaces here so we don't have to type everything out. And then we actually have a function here from the CUDA library up here that we specified where we can have this print CUDA device information and then the device where we want to print the information from. I'm only running on one GPU on my computer here. So this will be the zeroth uh, device here in this example. So if you run the program now, I hit control F5 here. We will now actually run the program, build the files here from this directory and then run it. So we're going to debug console here. We get some different kind of information about uh, the, the, the device that we are now printing out. So we can see how here up at the start here, we have this CUDA device query runtime API version. And we can see that the device count is one in this example here. So if you get this device count here as one and you're able to run this program here, you have set everything up and you have built it, the, the source file from OpenCV. Uh, and CUDA correctly. So we get the device count here one. So we're not right, right now we're running OpenCV with the GPU. We can see that the device here is device zero and we can see that we have NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, 1060 and we have six gigabytes of uh, RAM here in our GPU. We can also see some inf different kind of information about our GPU and if we had several GPUs, we can actually like, just specify those as well. But we can see both the GPU 
clock speed, some some different kind of like sizes, like the, the, the constant memory, six gigabytes and stuff like that. So we get all of these different kind of information about our GPU because we're using OpenCV with GPU and we have set everything up. We can see down here that we actually like have the, the CUDA driver version printed as well so we have 11.3 and also the CUDA runtime version which is just the same and the number of devices here is one and then at the end here we're just printing out hello world which was the last line of code here in our program so now we have actually like set everything up we have both installed all the different kind of things with cmeg visual studio uh the nvidia different kind of like cuda and cu dnn and then we actually like just used cmeg to build all the different kind of like binaries and set it up do the different kind of configurations then we went into visual studio here studio code here i showed you how we can set it up this cmake file here we have this short program here where we're just printing out the device information to be to like just uh to validate that our build file is working correctly and we're actually like using opencv with gpu when we're running this program here so thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit subscribe on the bell notification under the video here and also like this video here if you like the content and you want more of uh, in the future I'm currently just doing a computer vision tutorial where we're talking about like the basic stuff about computer vision and stuff like that. And I'm also doing a deep learning tutorial where we're talking about the basic stuff about deep learning, uh, neural networks, how we can create neural networks from scratch, training on a data set, and then predictions on data that I hadn't seen before. So computer vision and deep learning can be combined in a lot of different kind of ways and we can create some really nice applications. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll just see you next week, guys. Bye for now.